Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be filming my Christmas setup here in my Aura Style Rose Quartz A5 Wide Cloud. I couldn't resist setting up this planner for Christmas um, after having the idea stuck in my head since I purchased this planner and I finally also received my Paper Lovers book from Kiki K. So I have a bunch of decorations and papers from this notebook in the setup. I also have inserts from Anna Jolene Printables and I'm very excited to show you guys my final setup. As you can see, my planner is quite chunky already. That's because I already have my inserts for 2021 printed in here. I will be filming a 2021 uh, planner setup in the new year, but I think it's going to be in my other cloud, in my Lilac Daydream. Um, I just wanted to do a Christmas setup in this um, rose quartz because it's just so beautiful. But let's get right on in to this flip. I will show you guys my front pockets first because I think it's just so cute. I stuffed these pockets with a bunch of cute things, as you guys can see. Um, I stuck a little business card from Paper K in the front here. This was from her winter release, and I thought um, that looked adorable in the card slot over there. Um, I do have some Christmas stickers. These are all from my shop. These are all transparent stickers that I can use um, in my monthlies and in my planners. I have some clips as well. I think these are both from Confetti Baby. And then I just have some stickers tucked in the front here that I can use in my Christmas spreads um, and then I have this adorable um, I think it's a die cut from the Kiki K Paper Lovers book. I think the die cut is supposed to be like this so he's on his back but isn't he just adorable peeking out of that pocket. I have some other extra papers and like journaling cards in the pockets here and I also have a red pocket tucked in the back here for some added red color. I really like how these pockets turned out. I even have a bow to finish it off as well. So now let's move on into the main chunk of the planner. So in the very front of my planner, I do have this jelly sheet and I think it is so beautiful. I think I'm going to buy a few more of these and put them in all my planners because um, I really like this silver um, like holographic effect. Behind it, I just have a die cut that is from my shop. These went out as freebies in some of the orders. There are different um, variations of this, um, but I just stuck this one on the front here. Behind it, I just put one of the um, papers from the Kiki K Paper Lovers book. This is one of my favorite patterns, and behind it, it is even cuter, which is sort of like a peachy color, and it has all of the different illustrations from this year's collection. I debated back and forth between putting this one on the front or this one, but I just went with this because it matched my pockets a little bit better. But isn't this so cute? I'm definitely going to save this for next year. So behind this divider, I do have a yearly, which is from Anna Jolene Printables. This scallop is so cute because it does match the planner. Um, so I just have that in front of my inbox, which I have a bunch of list inserts, also from Anna Jolene Printables. Um, I only printed out a few pages because this is a five wide size, and as you can see, there are a lot of to-dos on one page, so I think this will last me the whole year. So I'm excited to fill out those inserts. This next section is my monthly section, and I made another dashboard here. I just clipped together my dashboard, uh, which is made out of cardstock and the vinyl divider together, um, and I used this gorgeous clip. It kind of looks like a snowflake. This is one of my favorite clips. It sparkles so much, but I don't think you can see it that well on camera. So I just collected a bunch of die cuts. Some of these are from Paper Shire. This is from Kiki K, and this is also from Kiki K. Uh, it is a tag that I added some ribbon to, and I just stuck it on to a cardstock dashboard that I printed out. These digital papers are all from TPS, and when the holidays are over, I can just take out these die cuts um, and put something else on if I want to. On the back of that cardstock is another digital paper that I printed. Um, I really like this because it's kind of all year round type of um, patterns and designs and I just added a few more things from the Kiki K um, Paper Lovers book. Again, I have one of the die cuts from my shop here. Like I said, these went out as freebies in orders. So I just stuck that on top of my first monthly. I actually printed out a few different ones because uh, this one is a month on one page, as you guys can see. There's a gridded section here and then an area for lists. Um, and I already printed them all out for the year. As you guys can see, I did tab them all. These tabs are all from my shop that I created for the A5 size. Uh, because A5 and A5 wide are almost the same size height wise, um, I was able to put all of my tabs on here as well. 
So these are the same tabs that I put in my Hobonichi Cousin. So I wanted to show you guys how cute they look in um, ring planners as well. I have all of these month on one page inserts for the whole year, which is really nice to have because I don't want to be printing 10 million things all the time. I do also have another monthly, which is a month on two page that is EC compatible. And I have been stickering that, but it's just in my other cloud at the moment. I forgot to put it in here because this is already quite chunky, but I think I'll show you that in my next cloud setup video. So my next divider here, I have all of my weeklies. And again, I have another one of those dashboards here uh, with the TPS paper. And then I just added a few other die cuts and some ribbon on the bottom here. These cards, I think, are from Create Paper, and then I just added another one of these die cuts. This is one of my favorite die cuts from the Paper Lovers book, because I think it's so cute. Definitely saving that for next year. Alright, so I have some more die cuts, and in this pocket I have a few extra things. So this is a foil die cut from the Style Planner a couple years ago. I have this greeting card, and then I made this little Swedish heart from the Paper Lovers book as well and then some more TPS things. In front of my weeklies, I do have another one of the Sunday Start calendars. I should have put a Monday Start in front of here because all of my weeklies are Monday Start, but these inserts are again from Anna Jolene Printables and I have started stickering them. I'm going to back plan some of these. I found a gorgeous Christmas kit that I had in my um, downloads file uh, that I just printed out and I really really want to use it. Look how gorgeous these stickers are. I'm very much a vertical planner person so I'm going to be printing out some of the um, printable kits that I purchased a while ago and I'm going to be using them in here. This style may be different from some of the other things that you might have seen on my YouTube channel um, but this is the style that I first started with when I got into planning and this still makes me happy. There's not one planner aesthetic that is better than the other, it just is whatever you like, you know. You guys can choose how you like to um, decorate your planner and how to use your own planner. My style is just kind of a mix of a lot of different styles that I make my own. So like I said, I printed out all of my inserts for uh, 2021 already. So I'm going to go ahead and actually sticker as many weeks as I can so that when the week comes I can just write in um, all of my to-dos and stuff like that. Um, as you can see here, I did also tab everything as well. So these are the cute pink tabs from my shop in the A5 size as well. These tabs are a little bit wobbly on my weeklies because I didn't cut my weeklies as well and because like the inserts kind of move within the rings um, so they don't look as even as my other ones. But they're still going to be very useful for me. So that is the end of my weeklies. And the last two sections that I have here are just full of no paper. Um, so I have some inserts from my A5 rings that I'm planning on putting in here. So I just left in some notebook paper uh, behind this dashboard. But again, this dashboard is just TPS paper. I think that kit was from this year. And then these little Christmas trees, they are from the Kiki K uh, Paper Lovers book. Holding my dashboards together, I do have this gorgeous ball. It has some red gems in it and it also has a flower, which I thought was really, really gorgeous. Um, so I put it directly into this setup. And I also have this other um, felt heart clip as well that I got years ago. Another journaling card and then this was one of my Paper K freebies. This page marker is from Hello Paper Cat. I thought it was really cute and the colors um, still go with this planner. So I dug that out of my collection here and in the back here I just have more of that note paper from Anna Jolene Printables. So this I can use to plan out um, releases, all of my listings and such. Uh, and then I also have a few other um, inserts in here as well with a different layout. Uh, this layout I really like because it's very simple. This insert is just gridded but it's divided into three parts so you can either use this for um, monthly planning, um, you can use one whole page for one month and then have three different sections of your um, life in there maybe. Um, you can also use this for yearly planning um, so you can see everything all at a glance. So this for example could be a six month overview so you'll have a full 12 months in like three or four pages which is really nice. Um, or you can just use this as a inbox and dump out different sections of your brain onto all of these pages which I think is really nice. So I'm going to be using a lot of those inserts for sure. This next divider is one of my favorites. I really like how this dashboard turned out. I made a washi dashboard um, 
but I only made a mini one in here because I was planning on putting this into my A6 rings, but I thought it looked cute here so I didn't punch it yet. But I made it with some washi that I recently got from the Pink Room Co. Uh, and then I just added a few die cuts. Some of them are from the Paper Lovers book from Kiki K. Uh, and this one is from Paper K again. I just added a bit of ribbon here which um, pops out the top nicely. Um, again, this background is from the Paper Lovers book and on the back um, has another really cute design. So the rest of these pages are all just line pages from Anna Jolene Printables. Again, uh, this is going to be used for brainstorming and for reference, so I just needed line paper uh, and I'll just divide the page however I want. In the back of all of my planners, I always keep a dashboard from Hello Paper Cat because it's quite stiff, so it acts as a page lifter so my pages don't curl underneath the rings. I thought I had a Christmas one, but I couldn't find it in my collection, so I just added this one, which is always one of my favorites. So in the very, very back of my planner, in the strings, I do have this insert from Kiki K. This is their Christmas organizer that I printed out um, just on regular paper, and it's so cute. I haven't actually had the chance to use this. Unfortunately, Christmas is already around the corner, as you guys know. But I think I might keep this for next year. It does have a few little, like, prompts and stuff like that. It kind of acts as, like, a journal, like, to-do list. You have, like, a monthly view here as well. Um, there's a section for like your budget and stuff like that. There is also a section here for like a recipe. So I really wanted to make these gingerbread cookies. So that's why I bookmarked it with this. But I just thought it was so cute. I think I'm going to keep this for next year and fill it out um, starting in November. I really like the cover of it. It has all of the little characters on it, uh, which is adorable. In the very back of my Christmas planner, I just have um, this little clip which is from, I think that was Confetti Baby or Miss Pippa Jane. Uh, and then I have tucked in the back some of the Christmas kits that I have been using. So some of these I think I had since last year. And then I just reprinted a few more as well. If I'm honest, I really want to use this planner into the new year because I really like all of the little Christmas decos that I have in here. So I want to appreciate it a little bit longer. So I'm going to back plan some of those uh, weeklies that I showed you for Christmas. And I am going to get ready to plan the new year in here. So thank you guys so much for watching this setup. I really, really enjoyed filming it and putting everything all together. If you guys want to see more videos like this, please do let me know. Like I said, I'm hoping to get out another um, setup video in my Lilac Daydream for the new year, so be sure to stay tuned for that. But thank you guys so much for all of the support this past year. Thank you for subscribing to my channel and liking it and watching my videos. I'm currently planning more videos for the new year, so I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you have a great holiday season, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!